um, you can see the quality within him. You know, he's not a scrub player. He's not a bum player. He's not that type of player. And I think in the Copa America so far, we we'll have one more game this evening. We're, we're, we're already gone already. You get me? I say. Mm-hmm. Um, when I feel like he get a fair shot. Is it me? Yeah. Who, who, like who, who does? Us. Who? Who? See us? No, he yeah, haven't, bro. I, bro, even the way he yeah. started off playing for Jamaica, you know, they had the coach and the coach. Um, the coach was like, they asked the coach in a press conference, what do you think about Ronaldo Cifas? And he's like, I didn't even know the player. Um, Marion Garden told me about the player. So he hasn't been like a player, I think, that's been really on his radar, like a player that he found special, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I think he gets a fair shot. Especially, you know, we've seen moments across the Copa America in Mexico and, um, and the Ecuador game where... He could have been a game changer, you know, regardless of the fact he never start. But against Mexico, yeah, yeah. he made the defensive changes, right? Against Ecuador, he should have brought him on a bit earlier. You know, I think we did see somebody saying like, I think we did say to somebody like, they should have bring him on earlier against Ecuador and they must say, oh, no matter how much minutes you get, you must still change the game. But that kind of unfair for say, you know, sometimes you'll get two minutes and you change the game, but you know, as a footballer, presser, it. as a footballer, come on, you know, a person give you two minutes on a field, bro. You need to go out there and impact the game in two minutes, three minutes. Yeah, it can happen, but like even for the players' confidence, it's, like it's just to weird, like, man. It's not as often compared to when you get like a 10 or 15 or 20 minutes, you know, because for some players, them take time to build up another game, like get them touches, get in the floor of the game. While some players, you know, you can easily take them off of the bench. And then create a goal scoring opportunity and then just go out there and score a goal, no matter how much means you get. You know, you have some players like that. Mm-hmm. But I think Ronaldo Cifas coming off the back of two assists in mm-hmm. he was one of our best attacking players. You know, you have Demar Gray who come off an injury, was unfit. You have Shemar Nichols who, you know, by right that start in the qualif- you know, the Copa America because he was like attacking third, like, you know, mm-hmm. previously must be proposed whatever the cases. But all right then, if you're not going to start Cifas, bring him on a bit earlier to change the shape of the game. And even against Ecuador, Look at the time we games to bring Cephas on. He's like, you never want to win the game. How are you going to win the game when you have no attacking threat going forward? It's crazy, bro. How? Like, I, I don't that Those are the things for me. And I'm like, bro, I, and a lot of time, it, it, let's be fair to the people who think us on YouTube talk about football like we could be the coach. It's like, I refuse for a person to make me feel stupid for stating the obvious. You see what I mean? Like, like unless somebody can explain to me if we're playing a certain way with a certain set of guys and we have no other options, how are we going to get the goal? Like, where? When? Don't we have to at least attempt to put on somebody who can potentially give us a goal? I, I'm going to say we should have gone in a Copa America with um, the, the, the third person that we, we must make it out of the group. But I think it was a fair group for us to try our best to make it out of, you know? It wasn't a group of death to me. You get me? Yeah, because we have yeah, respect yeah. to the players. It's just whether or not you have a coach that can get the best out of these players. And even for me, you know, when you look at the change heading into the Ecuador game, the man put three in the midfield this time. Damien Low. Damien Low, bro. When, when we see Damien Low come back, presser, continue. Continue. We have a talk. Continue. Once again, you bring on Damien Low. Where is your attacking threat out right to get the ball quickly up the pitch? The first option for you is going is, is to hit the ball along to Mikel Antonio as well as to Shemar Nichols. And it just not going to work. At least against USA and against Panama, we had players with players out wide that had good, um, that, that affected the game good. You get me, I say? Yeah, bro. Because we... I believe he played those two games against Panama and United States. Remember against United States and they get one chance and they never buried. So it's not like, say, we not see that the man not have nothing attacking wise. We've seen it. As me say, it's not the complete. Uh, remember, you know, remember, you know, presser, you used to disagree with me but them time that you remember? Remember, I tell people, I'm the first person who came out and asked for the coach to be removed, bro. And he was very anti cool then. The fact of the matter is, I believe we can get more out of the players that we have, right? Um, I think in terms of, you see when you play a certain way, JT? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It is not sustainable for the long term, especially when you play like Carl Grimson. You get me, I say? Mm-hmm. And I think the handbrakes, him have the handbrakes on the team right now. Because, as I say, it puzzles me how we play good in the first half against Mexico. 
play bad in the first half against Ecuador, but play good in the second half. I'm not saying you're not always have bad halves of football, but you realize yeah. that you realize what the second half did stay against Ecuador and you make one and two changes and you say to yourself, I'm not saying the team should have played like that in the first half, but we should have played better than how we played at the first yeah, half against yeah, Ecuador. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, 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 and we are not coaches, and we're seeing that. At the, at the end of the day, fans are not stupid. Um, yes, fans can go over the board a lot of the times, JT, but fans are not stupid. Fans see what they see. I get me I say, obviously, you have one of the what one faction will say, you know, keep him, and the other faction will say, um, get rid of him. I get me yeah, I say, yeah. no, everybody have a right to the moon opinion, but let's be honest, even against lesser opponents, the football is still not good. Let's be honest, JT. As Mr. Recently, we said 10 man USA play better attacking football against Panama. Oh, God. Yo, go on, call him. Go on, call him, question, people. Call him, question. Big up yourself, call him, question, as a member of the channel, right? But remember, two, hold on, press up. I think it was about two show ago. Call him, quest. Me, I have tell call him, quest. Said the coach need to leave. And call him, quest. I said, no, JT, look at it. He's going to get it right. Look what Colin Quest right when come today. I moved on from Jamaica's football. I think we will never get to the World Cup again unless we find a pro coach who was born in Jamaica who can deal with our Jamaican. Mm. <laughs> but let me tell you, we have to be careful in terms of what we wish for. You get me, I say? Mm -hmm. Because Marion Garden, obviously, Jeff could have much your point, Marion Garden. And it's the match of the code cast. You get me, I say? Think the fans will be angry with that. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm Paul Hall. Paul Hall. I'm not too sure. John Wall. I'm not too sure either. You get me? I, say? Mm -hmm. I think we need somebody established who has a good track record. You get me? I say whether at the international level or at the club level because we have a talented group of players and we also have players that can potentially come in. You get me? I say? Um, I'm not going to go as far. If, if Hagrim said was supposed to stay in the job, I think we would get to the World Cup. Right? Mm -hmm. I think we would get to the World Cup still. I don't think it's that, but at this point in time. But what I will say is, while, I, while a lot of us want our dreams out, I feel like our dreams wants out as well, to a certain extent. Because even some fans have said, the whole situation would be a recent. When you look on our dreams since recently, he just looked dejected. You get me, I say? And mm. he looks yeah. dejected. And any, any coach that's in the environment surrounding the JFF, the back and forth every minute, 